Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create user-defined exceptions in C++. Alright, so here in this tutorial, we have included the exception header file because, you know, the exception class is the base class for all type of exceptions that we create. You know, it may be user-defined or the standard exceptions available. And also the exception class is defined in the exception header file. And that's why we have included that to our program right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a custom class or the user defined class you know which is gonna inherit from the exception class so here in this tutorial we're gonna write a exception class you know which is gonna check for the over speed of a car if the car speed you know exceeds some limit you know the exception will be thrown and uh, and you know we're gonna execute the methods inside our exceptions so first it's gonna be the class and then the class name let's say over speed and then you know it should inherit from the exception class so it's gonna be public you know the public inheritance and then exception and also make a note that you know we are using small letter here you know not the capital letter E here alright then the class body so here in this class over speed let's have a a private member and let's call it as speed all right the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna define the public access specifier and here we're gonna override the method you know which is written in this exception class which is the what method you know in the previous tutorials we have used that method so here it's gonna be const then uh, cast uh, and then the method name which is what and it's not gonna take any parameters so here we need to return a string value or a character sequence so it's gonna be return and here you know this method will be called to check what type of exception occurred you know what happened in the program so here we're just gonna say check out your car speed and uh, let's add a new line and I'm gonna use the escape sequence slash n and then we're gonna say you are in the car not in the aeroplane you know just a message to the user so it's gonna be you are in the car not in the aeroplane all right let's add a new line by using the escape sequence slash n then uh, add the same column here so now we have overloaded the method you know which will be called by using an object of this class over speed and here you know in this class you guys want to write any other methods you guys can do that you know just for the demonstration purpose i'm gonna write a method you know which is used to get the speed of the car so let's say it's gonna be void and uh, get speed and here uh, it's gonna be a see out statement so it's gonna be see out and uh, speed along with that let's print some message your car speed is all right now speed the next method that we're gonna build is gonna be used to set the value to this speed so i'm gonna copy this and paste it in the next line and i'm gonna change this one to set speed and let's say set speed and it's gonna take a integer value int speed and that is gonna store that value in the member speed so it's gonna be this arrow operator speed equal to speed all right now we have defined a user defined class or a user defined exception the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build a class you know where we're gonna throw the exception so here the class is gonna be a car so after the class definition of this over speed i'm gonna write class and car you know the name of the class and this class is not gonna inherit from any other classes so here in this car class also we can have a member called speed and then we're gonna have the public access specifier and uh, and let's define a constructor and let's call it as car and uh, you know it's gonna set the speed of the car to zero zero and uh, if you want you guys can print out that so it's gonna be see out speed is zero and let's end this line 
the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write a method you know which is called accelerate so in this method accelerate we're gonna check for the speed for some particular limit and if the speed exceeds that limit and then uh, at that time we're gonna throw the exception so it's gonna be void and let's say accelerate and this method is not gonna take any parameters so here what we're gonna do is we're gonna build a infinite for loop so it's gonna be four and two semicolons you know no testing or uh, any increment or any conditions there and here we're gonna increase the speed so it's gonna be speed plus equal to and let's say 10 you know for every iteration we are increasing the speed by a value of 10 and then we're gonna print out the value of the speed so um, I'm gonna copy this okay what we can do is we can change this one to is and then refer to the speed here all right now I'm gonna copy this statement and paste it here and then we're gonna check for the speed if speed is greater than or equal to let's say a limit um, 250 and at that time what we want to do is we want to throw an exception so when we throw an exception you know you know the throw object is gonna be of type over speed because you know the speed exceeds the limit so over speed so here first what we're gonna do is we're gonna build an object of this over speed class so it's gonna be over speed the class name and then let's say uh, object name yes and then we can uh, pass the speed of this car to the member of this exceptional object speed you know don't get confused you know we're just passing the speed of the car to this exceptional object so that's why it's gonna be yes dot set speed method and it's gonna be speed all right the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is we're gonna throw the exception here so that's why it's gonna be throw and then it's gonna be yes all right now we have defined a uh, user defined exception by extending the exception class and also we have defined a class you know where the exception will be thrown the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna create an object of this class car in my main function so it's gonna be car and uh, okay we have a default constructor with no parameters let's say anil's car and uh, you don't need to pass any parameters the next thing that uh, we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna call this accelerate method so this accelerate method is gonna throw an exception that's why what we're gonna do is we're gonna place we're gonna call that method inside the try and catch so it's gonna be try and then it's gonna be anil score dot accelerate and that's it then we're gonna build the catch block so it's gonna be catch and it's gonna be an object of the over speed class so it's gonna be over speed and let's say s and then um, let's see what methods we can call we can call get speed and what all right so so now I'm gonna use C out and let's say yes dot what what happened what type of exception and uh, let's end this line and also we're gonna call the get speed get speed method you know this get speed method is not gonna return any values you know it's just gonna print out the values that's why we can call that you know without using the c out so it's gonna be yes dot get speed okay get speed all right now i'm gonna save this program i'm gonna build and run this and hopefully we don't have any error all right now you guys can see you know our car started at zero then the acceleration 10 20 30 40 similarly 240 250 at that time when the speed becomes 250 you know the exception is thrown and it says check out your car speed you know that's in the catch block check out your car speed you are in the car not in the aeroplane and your car speed is 250 so in this tutorial we have defined a user defined exception by inheriting from the exception class and also I have showed you how to pass the values to the exceptional object that you create in your program and also how to write the methods in the user defined exceptional class and uh, access them in your program so that's it guys and I'll see you in the next tutorial